going up, a lot of construction, and a lot of people going out. So the question I asked is, uh, what's next for Qatar? Um, from this experience, I've noticed that they are doing the F1, the Formula One, and the uh, Moto GP. Hey, and they're doing cricket as well. And they're doing cricket in the Lusail Stadium. So, what next for Qatar? I hope that they continue to host great events, great tournaments, um, and this becomes a tourist destination for people around the world. Um, I think it's very safe to bring your, your wife and your kids, and the people have been lovely, very very hospitable, hospitable, and yeah, I think they've got big plans. I don't think they plan on changing their beliefs or their cultural system, which why would you expect the country to do that? people's beliefs are people's beliefs however when you're traveling you need to respect those beliefs um, however I, in my opinion I feel that Qatar are not westernizing but they're modernizing their society um, and for a Middle Eastern country I think that's a, that's, a, that's a massive achievement so instead of reporting negativity I think we need to praise what's been done here in such a small amount of time, what's been done in the last 10 years to make this tournament as possible and, and a great success because for football, the stadiums have been absolutely brilliant. The Metro was absolutely brilliant. Um, the, the public transport was very well organized. So it's, for everyone that was involved with FIFA, thank you very much. And also those, I think it's maybe 20,000 FIFA volunteers. Um, those 20,000 volunteers deserve a big thank you very much and today for one last time Shreki Metro that way.